Hello guys, welcome to Nice and a brand new vlog. I just wanted to sit over here actually quickly because it's really quite loud over the other side. We've just come to Cannes with Dior Beauty. We're here for a few reasons. They have a number of absolutely beautiful new launches, not only of perfume but also of makeup. So they have thrown an enormous global party over in Cannes. So nice to be back in Cannes again. It feels like years and years since I was last here. In fact, I think I was last here with Dior Beauty. Can't see a thing. It's so bright. I hope you can see me and I hope you can hear me. Anyway, we're currently at Eden Rock Hotel, which is quite a prestigious hotel in this region. It is really stunning and luxurious. So many people are here having this beautiful Dior brunch. So as you can see, everyone's just sat out. Everything is grounded. Cushion to exercise balls. I mean, it's really stunning. And this is what we're here for today, the Eden Rock perfume. Honestly, I would say this is probably in my top two, maybe top three of the Christian Dior special parfums. <laughs> this smell is just absolutely amazing. And then down here, you look at this. Down there, there's a boat that's all kitted out in Dior goodies. Really something else. This is gorgeous. Yeah, so we've got a few things on the agenda that I won't tell you about now, but I'm just very, very excited to be here. Um, I want to show you a few new makeup things. I've got some gorgeous outfits to wear. So yeah, let's just get into the vlog. We are last team standing. Everyone else has left the restaurant, apart from the UK team. So we're going to head back now to our hotel, do a full new face of makeup. Hi guys, right, we're back to the apartment now. The apartment? the hotel room. Hopefully you can hear me a little bit better now. We had a beautiful lunch. Like I said, the whole global team is here for Dior Beauty and everyone has brought a couple of different content creators from different markets. So it was wonderful to kind of see a couple of people that I've not seen in a really long time, like Mariana and her lovely boyfriend, Adam. Mariana Hewitt, so it was so nice to see those guys. So, I mean, so many other people, so many other people catch up with, so it was really lovely. We actually stayed there for a little while, drinking Whispering Angel. Now we're back in the hotel room. We're staying at Cap Dante Hotel, I think that's how you say it. We have a rather lovely view out over the marina over here. I'm just about to film a makeup tutorial. For clarity, this is going to be an integrated paid for advertorial with Dior Beauty. Just because I want to be able to show you my makeup routine for the evening. We're going for a lovely dinner again with everyone from all the global markets tonight. I was gonna wear a really glam dress. If you guys follow me on TikTok, you'll have seen it first, but I found this incredible dress. I'll put it here on the screen. This, this absolutely phenomenal leg split. <laughs> And I really wanted to wear it. But everyone I've asked tonight isn't going super glam. So I was like, right, okay. So I've got a different option, a different choice for dress. So we will be wearing that. But I am still going to go like glamorous face of Dior makeup. And I have a full bag of Dior beauty makeup with me today. As a lot of you know, if you watch a lot of my videos, I wear and use Dior makeup a lot of the time. So this is going to be a really easy face of makeup to do. I'm just going to take my makeup off first of all. I've got the off on cleanser with me, the mousse cleanser, which is a really gorgeous product actually. I often bring this with me on trips because it's just a really nice, you can like throw it into your travel bag really easily. And with this, um, I trust it's not gonna leak anywhere because of this top on it. So I'm gonna film this for real and for you guys in the vlog at the same time. I just put on a nice little white linen shirt. This is one from Asino. I've got my Dior necklace that Alex bought me for my Christmas present. Dior bra underneath, Dior belt, Holland Cooper white trousers. Yeah, I'm wearing them so much, aren't they great? They're such a fantastic linen. piece of linen. Beautiful white linen. I've got the matching blazer for it as well. You need to pull your belt down a little bit though. My belt down. Oh, is it just spit up? Yeah, so I've just put that on with this Dior belt just to pull it in. It's stuck. Thanks, babe. Thank you. Dressing me. Also, guys, you need to see. In fact, I don't know if it's a we bit. We can't show it. We, we can can't show it. it. Alex, Alex has. <laughs> Alex's ankles here, <laughs> super swell. So underneath my hand, where I have my hand here, I don't want to show it because it's a bit gruesome. Alex is currently in the process of getting one of his tattoos removed and he's had two sessions before this and this is the third session and it has blistered and it looks really gruesome, I must admit. Yeah. Very the first gruesome. two sessions weren't too bad so I was kind of like, eh, all these people talking about tattoo removal, it's not that bad. 
third session, honestly, it was like an elastic band that was on fire hitting yeah, my that's leg. that's what people say, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it was so painful. So, so painful. Wow, and that's so. coming from you, Mr. Tattoo Master. Tattoo Master. Tattoo Master. Yeah, so it's, it's gruesome. It'll be worth it, though. I hope so, because he's having to bandage up his leg because it's, like, seeping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Lucky woman, aren't you? <laughs> right, let's get going. Okay, I've just started off my makeup. Like I said, cleanse with the off on. This is such a wonderful cleanser. The thing I really like about it is that you don't even really need water with this. It has such a lovely like emulsifying texture. It's like a moussey gel when you put it on and you can just kind of lather it up without water. And then just use like a face cloth to wash it off and your face is so clean and smooth and soft after it, but it's not got that dry, squeaky clean feeling. Anyway, I then moisturised, put on the Dior Serum, Dior Moisturiser, and then went in with 1.5N Forever Skin Glow. One of the best foundations ever. It's in my top three foundations ever. It's that amazing. And applied with this little Kabuki brush, it is the absolute dream. It is such an amazing finish. This just literally glides it on and you can get your foundation done in literally a couple of strokes on the face. It is absolutely amazing, but look at that glow. So glowy and beautiful and dewy, hydrating. Doesn't feel like you're wearing a mask. It's such a fantastic foundation. That's 1.5. And now I'm gonna go in with the brand new concealer. This concealer is so good. So good. I mean, the Dior Forever Concealer is also fantastic, but this one, which they've just brought out, I love the fact it comes with this tiny little brush. So it's, a, I mean, how simple is the idea to put a brush inside of a concealer tube? But it's, it's just the most simple and brilliant idea, and it is fantastic. This is like medium to heavy coverage without caking, and it's not heavy. So it's so brilliant. I might use shade one, actually I have both of them here. Maybe I'll use shade one just for a little bit more lightness and then two more for the concealing of areas that I want to stay in this shade. So two probably over here where I've got a couple of little blemishes and then one under my eyes. So let me continue. Okay, full face done. Let me come into the sunshine so I can show you this. Woo! Okay, that's blasted. That is glow. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that highlight is unreal. So I am wearing Rouge Dior 999, their signature red, of course. On my eyes, I'm wearing the same highlighter as on my cheeks and the same bronzer through the lid. I've kind of multi-used all the products the way I like to do that. And then the mascara is beautiful, the new Dior Show mascara. So this is the brand new mascara. Super jet black, massive wand. I love this wand. Obviously, you've got to be super gentle with your application, but it creates really big, thick, and fluffy lashes. Bear in mind, I have just had an LVL done, but the coating it's given them is absolutely beautiful. It looks so open. I love it. This highlight, though. So, let me just show you. So, the bronzer, the bronzer I used, I mean, the packaging is so stunning. This is 005 Warm Bronze, and it has this really pretty Christian Dior motif pressed into the powder. It's such a great bronze. It's a really lovely, deeper bronze for me. As I'm tanned, I thought it'd be gorgeous, and it's such a beautiful, natural, bronzy finish. But then the highlight is one of my new favourite things. I, tr I tried this today for the first time. This is 01 Nude Glow, and I think this might be the repackaged version of their kind of best-selling nude glow highlight. That would make sense. And therefore, has always been a favorite highlighter of mine. I've just never seen it in this packaging. Look at this highlighter. So that's what I've added on my cheeks, just over the top of my eyebrow bone. I've added it over my eyes. Look at that glowy finish. The Dior Forever Glow foundation though is the piece de resistance, I think, in this. I mean, it just makes the skin look so incredible. I'm now gonna get into my dress. I do wanna try on the dress I wanted to wear. It's a really incredible black dress. I'll include it down below. I'll link it for you because it's amazing. If you're going to like a glamorous event and you're in need of a really show-stopping dress, this would be it. The dress is on. <laughs> the dress with the leg slit of all leg slits. This is pretty. Pretty amazing. It's stunning, isn't it? Look at those shoulders. Mm. Okay, 
we are now ready for dinner. We've come to a beautiful hotel. What is the name? I'll put the name of the hotel here if I can remember it. I have been here before once before actually for a press trip and it was a beautiful setting. And so we've got the whole space, it's all kitted out for Dior Riviera. Everyone's all sat around. The sun goes down. Look at this setting. Also, you have to see Rahi's Valentino Couture outfit because it's absolutely divine. Look at Rahi. He's oh, hey. just... oh my god, I'm going to be on in the fro. <laughs> <laughs> in the fro. <laughs> oh, By the way, guys, I actually watch all of the YouTube videos and I'm like such a fan. Rahi, <laughs> yeah. you really? No, I mean it. I think you need to. Don't you think Rahi should start his own YouTube channel? I've said it to him. Yeah, yeah, I need to. It would be so good. Yeah. The I Soho House it. was my favourite video. Yeah. Was it? I, loved it. I enjoyed that one wholesome too. Wholesome content. Yeah, really wholesome content. Yeah, yeah it was wholesome. It was very wholesome. And whose birthday you. was it? My birthday. Yeah. So talk me through your outfit. So I'm wearing Valentino Couture. Wow. At a Dior dinner. <laughs> but we were just ignore that. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Because look how fabulous you look. Know, thank and it's you. a full, I mean, look how perfectly these fit. The shoes make it for me. The shoes, the shoes are so nice. So it's a bit of a juxtaposition, yeah. this sort of chunky boot with this very, yeah. very delicate lacy. We love a chunky shoe. Yeah, I, no, I love it. It's so fantastic. Thank you, Vic. You spoil me. Oh, we love rock. <laughs> Good morning. This is a nice little hidden gem. We didn't even realise this was here. So we've got a little beach to ourselves. Beach pool bar. We've just got our morning coffees. And I'm going for scrambled eggs and fruits. This is just really rather nice. Lovely. Getting a bit of sunshine. I thought I'd come outside to do my makeup today, seeing as it's so pretty out here. What a view. This is the view. We were just down there earlier having our breakfast. Really lovely breakfast spot overlooking the beach. Yay! Okay, that's better. Update you, so still in Cannes, we're here for two more days. Today we're going over to the beauty suite. So over at Cannes Film Festival, so right near to where the festival is, do you all have a suite inside the Majestic Hotel? I've been there before a few years ago. And it's where they do all the makeup for their celebrities and their clients that walk the red carpet for Cannes. So we're going there today, I'm going to get my hair done and then I'm going to get my makeup done by Jamie Coombs who is one of the Dior lead makeup artists and he is amazing. He's done my makeup many times before and I just love him so much. So that's exciting. Another day, another makeup moment. I'm going to go straight on with this. Honestly guys, this brush, this brush is one of my favourite ever brushes. It's just like bish bash bosh, straight on. I've been meaning to film a three minute makeup challenge again because I've not done it for like 10 years and if I did I would definitely use this brush because it's so quick. I mean look, so quick and it's like flawless. Did I tell you that I had my eyes and my eyelashes and my brows done again? So Debbie, Debbie from Nouveau Lashes came over to my house on Sunday last minute because I was desperate for my eyelashes doing. She's amazing so she came over and sorted me out, did my brows, HD brows, and then a Nouveau Lashes LVL Lash Lift. And look how much, so much better. Just look how much better they look. So good. Honestly, it makes such a difference to my face. This is the brand new concealer in number two. 2N Flash Perfector Concealer. It is amazing. Amazing, honestly. Just to show you a few more products that I used yesterday. Warm Bronze Bronzer. So beautiful. I'm just gonna bronze up with this. The thing is, that I'm gonna be getting my makeup done when I get to the beauty suite, so I don't need to be too made up here. This is the highlighter I was talking about, the Nude Glow 01. Absolutely unbelievable. I mean, watch how beautiful this is now when I put it on. So pretty, so pretty. Okay, this is a lip glow in Peach Glow, 31. Just over a nude liner. Do your powder. Just gonna add a touch more bronze through the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a dark brown liner. I just don't have a Dior one. So this one is gonna be the VB Coal liner in the dark brown. 
I'll get it on there. Get it out. I just like to just diffuse it, like take a brush over the very edges really lightly. Just so it like diffuses it out a bit. That's so beautiful. Okay, like I said, I love it. In fact, I just need to brush up these brows because they're looking crazy. Yeah, so I have my brows laminated, so that's why they're kind of already in position, which is really, really handy. And I've had them dyed, so you can actually see all the hairs. So again, I don't have to put anything in them. And that's it, full face, like, full face glowy Dior makeup. So now for hair, no idea what I'm gonna do. Done. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready for the day. Outfit of the day. So I've got my cute little white blouse on from Awesome Diaries. Black shorts from Philosophy. Little Christian Dior belt. I'm wearing all of my Dior jewellery pieces. And then over top, my Jacquemus blazer. I'll link all this down below for you guys. And then I've picked these out again, these black um, Dior flats. Bought these years ago and I've kept them because I love them so much and they look perfect with this look. Just put a little bun in my hair because my hair is not looking its best. So I just need something just to make it look a bit more, a little bit more chic. Mother, thank God you came here. I know. We were like lounging around. We were like, oh, this is nice for another hour. Oh, this is so pretty. Dior lunch on the beach. So we're just leaving Hyde Plage Beach Club. On the it's just on the beach on the Cam Strip. We are now going over to the Majestic Hotel for a full glam, like hair and makeup, all in Dior beauty. So this is going to be so nice. But we, yes, we've just found out we're we're there a bit earlier than we thought. So we're now rushing over to the Majestic. Oh, but I only oh, just love it here. I get why people like. You don't have the London accent. Yes, because we get why people move here when they retire because it is rather wonderful. Look at the weather. Oh, beautiful. We've made it to the beauty suite, the Dior beauty suite inside the Majestic. It's just as I remember it, all the same layout, the same beautiful suite, but of course like renewed and with the most beautiful like Dior backdrops. There's little areas for people to get their makeup done. All these little sections, the brand new Eden Rock candle, and all the different perfumes. So nice. Did I show you the? This is my outfit of the day. I'm so glad that I brought these shoes with me and that I've kind of rooted them out of my closet because they're so great. Also, with Gladiator sandals really being in again this season, they are such a great purchase. <laughs> I'm going to get my uh, glam on in a second. But let me show you around a little more. So, this is a suite. Ah, the most fantastic views. Okay, we're about to start my hair. I have Stefan who is doing my hair for me. We're just gonna go for a gorgeous like and beachy wigs. <gasps> Thank you so much. I love that I'm known as a cake person. Matt, these madeleines are so delicious. So I love getting my hair done. Not very good at doing my own curls. With Ridgie, where we he's been there all day. Yeah, it's still working. Oh, you still working there. Oh, Mr. Fabulous. <laughs> Is this the new concealer, Jamie? It's the new backstage concealer. Isn't it amazing? I'm obsessed with it. Uh, the coverage is unreal, it's isn't it? And it's not cakey. No, it's, it's not. And it's great for the eye area because it's not so creamy, so it doesn't crease. Yeah, it is beautiful. It feels very light on the skin as well. Mm. It looks great. I mean, in my great. Kid, that's all. Like you can really see a difference on both sides, right? You are so glowy, Mr. Barbie. <laughs> Love a bit of dewy skin. Yeah. Look at my hair. I've just had my hair done. All finished up. This is so much better. And now just a little bit more dual makeup, and I am ready for red carpet. We're not doing red carpet, but still, red carpet ready. A new rose essence. Isn't it delicious? I love it. It's, it's just like one of those things you can just douse your body in. Yeah, so Jamie's just taken off my makeup with the miscellaneous water. So we're going to start, so I wanted to start like again from fresh so that Jamie could do like a full look, like a full red carpet glam look. <laughs> <laughs> So now I'm going to do my backstage or my cans called Tonic, which is a nautical cross pollination in skincare. Um, so I've mixed my serums by Capture Total and 
My prestige. Cool to rolls. This is a nice little thread. I've never seen this before. Mm -hmm. It's great to see them now. Mm -hmm. It's quite nice because also that's more creamy. Yeah. And this is more oily based. So it's just yeah. a nice little. So it's a nice little combination. Emulsion. Emulsion that really mm. just melts into the skin. It makes it any residue just take it into the as well. Right, so Jamie's just showing me this new technique. What's it called? Underpainting. Underpainting. So Jamie's putting on the contour, well, he's putting on the concealer, the new flash perfecting concealer. Isn't that what it's called? Yeah, backstage. Backstage concealer in two... That's the one point, that's the one warm I'm using One here. warm? Yeah. And yeah. I'm going in for four warm to add the contour. So I'm adding light first, like strobe lighting going across the face. Amazing, honestly. I'll show you in a second how amazing it looks on this side. And then I'm using the dark one here, here, the temple. And a little bit just on the side of the nose, like so. Okay, and then Jamie's going to blend this all in, and then you go over the top with foundation, and it kind of just seamlessly blends everything in, and it's almost like an invisible contour. I mean, look at this side. New um, Rouge Balm in 200 the Terabella, which is a beautiful balming nude, and it's matte. I love this colour. Oh, that's so nice! I've never used this one before. Which yeah. colour is it? Two hundred. Terra Balm, two hundred in the Rouge Dual Balm. Oh gosh, it feels like it's been quite a long day. I almost fell asleep and had a nap a little bit ago, but I had to do some editing. Now we're ready for our final night. I have gone for this incredible dress. I don't know if you follow me on TikTok. I'm just Victoria McGrath on TikTok, but I did like an unboxing of a few pieces that I bought specifically to bring here, just to kind of inspire me for new outfits like picture moments, that kind of thing. And this was one of the dresses and I absolutely love it. Amazing for wedding season, wedding guests. It would also make a really gorgeous bridesmaid dress actually. It's a beautiful peach. I wore a similar color to this as a bridesmaid for my mom for her wedding. It's so pretty, super slinky, really beautifully made. I love it, so I thought I'd wear this for a final night. Um, I've just dolled up my makeup again since Jamie did it at the suite because I was lying down and smudged it all. Just spritzed on some of the Eden Rock perfume. Alex is wearing this also, we're gonna smell the same. It really is, it really smells like salty skin that's been in the sun and the sea. Like imagine you've been on the beach all day and you've got that salty, um, sun-kissed skin that's mixed in with like sun cream. It's that like coconutty, salty, sea, air, smell. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm wearing that. Bag of the night is an oldie, but one of my favorite bags still, my beautiful tiny little Lady Dior. So, off we go. It was, yeah, it was that woman by the train you station. Made my life harder. Was it a white lens? She wasn't fapping it. It was, like, it was a tiny tiny lens. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like a 200 ml. Good morning, everybody. Our final morning in Nice. Today we are checking out of the hotel and we are off to Domaine de Manon. It's the area that they grow the roses for the new rose essence perfume. So that's what I'm wearing today. Also wearing something very rose field appropriate, apart from maybe the shoes, but oh well. <laughs> you can carry me, can't you, through the field? Yeah, right. You'll be fine. Um, yeah, this beautiful little Zimmerman dress. I've had this a number of years. And it's such a such a brilliant dress for like all occasions. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? And then this, honestly, this Dior jacket that I bought, this was such a treat to myself, but actually how much have I worn this? You haven't taken it off. I know. It's such a brilliant like overlayer for everything. So I love this. And then the little bag. This was loaned to me for the trip from the Dior team. So it's just nice to wear. What's what's this one called? So this is a Lady Dior, but it's in this new elongated rectangular shape. Which is super lovely. Yeah, and then just a full face of Dior makeup again. I rather like it. Do I look okay? Look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Um, also, I completely forgot to record last night at the meal. We went to Eden Rock for dinner. Wasn't it lovely? It was really nice. It was so nice. There was some most incredible sunset. I'll put a picture up. There's this beautiful sunset. I was wearing my peachy dress. It's because at the moment I'm trying to film TikTok, stories, Instagram pictures, Instagram reels, and YouTube. So I keep forgetting one or the other, so I forgot to film. But it was beautiful. Have a look on TikTok, have a look on Instagram, it'll be on there.
Oh, we've just arrived at Domaine de Manon. Oh, this is so exciting. Look at these beautiful roses already. We're not even into the field. So just for context, this is where they gather all the rose petals for the new rose essence. Look how pretty. So this is the bottle of rose essence. So this is literally, to me, it's kind of like a tonic of rose petals. It's the most incredible smell. It's unbelievable. I mean, when you smell these roses, they literally just smell exactly like this, encapsulated into this bottle. So it's just the most perfect, beautiful scent. It's the kind of thing that if you're in the kind of, I would say if you're in the house for the day and just want to wear something really beautiful and uplifting. For any of you who like to wear scents to bed, I know a lot of people do, something really quite light and fresh. Or if you're just going out for the day, and you don't want to wear something too heavy and you want something really light and floral honestly this is absolutely beautiful i've not stopped spritzing this on me it literally smells like the rose petals like literally this rose rubbed on you that is the exact smell of this rose essence so we've just been taking some pictures in the flo in the flower field i have been here before i realized i've been here a few years ago with um, Dior because they obviously supply a lot of different roses to the different perfumes that Dior make so I've been here before with Dior also but now we're back um, and all of these flowers are going into the new rose, rose essence I can't tell you the smell right now it is just absolutely heavenly it's divine we're just going to spend a few hours here I think and um, yeah I feel very 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 grateful to be here it is absolutely serene and beautiful with these views such a tranquil space, the birds and the bees. <laughs> From Jasmine and Tubéreuse. And in organic, we have an exclusive contract with Les Parfums Christian Dior. And every flowers are uh, only for La Maison Dior, Rose, Jasmine and Tubéreuse. And we are uh, 10 farms like me around grass by exclusive contract for, uh, for Les Parfums Christian Dior. Rose is already a perfume because I can smell lemon, lychee, honey, spicy, pepper, sometimes cardamom. It's very, very intense and with very, very facets. We had such a gorgeous time in the flower fields learning about the tuberose, the may rose. Oh, the, it's um, like rose, isn't it? Yeah, honestly, that smell, it just, it just fills the air. Now we have come to, do you know where we are? Chateau. Chateau. Uh, La Bastide Saint-Antoine. Oh, no, you say that. La, a La. beautiful hotel nearby. <laughs> La Bastide Saint-Antoine. La Bastide Saint-Antoine. Saint Antoine. 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 Oh. So we've come for lunch. This is Aurélie. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the vlogs, Aurélie. <laughs> we are honestly, we have the most beautiful little spot for lunch now. Look at this view. Look at this view. It looks like Tuscany. Absolutely divine. Oh, there's a pool. There's a pool down here. There's a pool. Gosh, this place is amazing. Wow. Yes, we have our beautiful little lunch spot. Look at us. Okay, ready for the day. I've gone for these black trousers, just something really simple, straight leg, a pair of Dior flats. And then I've gone for my Gucci bustier underneath this beautiful Holland Cooper blue shirt with a gorgeous lace back. This is like the full look. And gosh, the bruising is mad on this, but it's just so nice seeing it. It's like a, a little triple whammy. It's gonna be so beautiful. When I show you the new Edge of Ember pieces for the next collection, like the earrings are so stunning and I've designed them for like the perfect stack. So it's just gonna be so exciting to see them all up my ear. And the same on this one. So I've just gone for my hoops here and I've taken off the charms. And then this is the Huggy, again from Paradise Collection. And then just this tiny little stud that I had it pierced with. But I think it's, it looks so cool. Oh yeah, and then my little necklace as well. Okay, I can finally show you then the ensuite and the room adjoining to it. So you might remember this was in Cornforth White before, so it was a beautiful, very light grey, almost a bit like the grey of the backboard there of the bed, this kind of like linen grey shade. And I was kind of toying with going with that again and then realised that I just wanted something a little bit brighter, a little bit fresher. So we've had the whole room painted in Wevit. 
from Faro and Ball. It's a colour we have in a number of different rooms, including our bedroom. It's just a very soft white. It has this very, very subtle grey undertone to it. So it has this lovely softness to it. It's not too bright and harsh. So the only thing missing currently in this room is a radiator. I'm having them made at the moment from Cast Rads. This one will be a beautiful brassy gold to match with the room. It does finish off the whole space. But for now, we've kept it really minimal, just super clean, really. So we've got the two bedside tables and the beautiful linen lampshades. The linen bed and the bed is from uh, Next, actually, and it is such brilliant quality. And the mattress that's on here. I can't tell you how many compliments we get on this bed. It makes me so happy every single time. We had Sarah Michaela over on the weekend with her lovely boyfriend Lyle. They both did not stop complimenting how brilliantly they've slept and how comfortable this bed was. Everyone thinks it's so great. And me and Alex have also slept in here one night when Bo was sick on our bed. So we had to come in here and it really is so comfortable. And then the linen the linen that I've got in here is from Chalk Pink. Everyone always loves it. It's super soft linen. Luxurious to sleep on. It is wonderful. Then on this side, we have our beautiful mirror back up. Where did I get this from? It's got a bit of an Art Deco feel to this. Um, Perch and Paro, that might be it. It might be from Perch and Paro. Yeah, love this mirror. And we've just put it kind of on alignment with the door here. I've also very much tidied up these bookcases which makes me super happy because these were just rammed full of books before without any real kind of design and there isn't much design to them now but there is a little bit more order to the madness here so we've got like the non-fiction books up top a couple of a couple of fashion books in the middle with the Hermes boxes then I've got my cookbooks then I've got magazines primarily that I am in or have been in just so I can keep them for the future. And then here I have a very small handful of like fiction books really. In fact, I think there might be one or two in there that aren't, but they didn't have anywhere else to go, so it's fine. And then two uh, Dior bags down there that I keep bits and bobs in, but I also love to collect the Dior bags every season. So this is far better. And then everything, of course, all the woodwork down here, the two different closets have also been repainted in Faro and Ball. But one main difference is that we've had the whole room panelled now. So we've had a dado and then we've had square panelling put all the way around the room. It just gives it a little point of difference. Um, just some texture to the walls, just a bit of a focal point to the walls. I guess I just wanted to sort of elevate the space a little bit. I know that panelling isn't for everybody. Personally, I absolutely adore panelling in, in rooms. I think it just adds a little bit more of a older, more historic look as such. Just a little bit more excitement to the walls. So I love it so much more now, just for that little extra. Then I have my Jessica Yolanda K linen paintings up either side of the bed. You might remember I did have these in the kitchen at one point above the breakfast bar and then was like, no, this is dicing with death here. I'm definitely going to get some kind of bolognese sauce on them. So I brought them up here where they're nice and secluded and kept safe. And I absolutely adore these. They're just such a beautiful piece of artwork. I'm so glad that I bought these. And then in the middle, just this beautiful mirror. This is from Cox and Cox. The side tables are... I want to say West Elm. And then this huge trunk cabinet chest, which I showed you in the last video. That houses all of my beauty products. And then on the top, I wanted to keep it fairly chilled and not too cluttered. I mean, it looks fairly cluttered now. But this beautiful linen Louis Vuitton box I thought was perfect on here. Then I've got my Dr. Frange Oud Nobile for the scenting of the room. And then in fact, I only put this here yesterday actually. Technically, the silver doesn't go with the room. I might still move this downstairs to a room that has more silver hardware. But I found it and thought, you know what, it's one of my favourite pictures and it's this beautiful Dior frame. So I thought I'd put it here on top of the Dior books. And I don't think it really matters that this isn't a silver frame. It's just a little, little extra. Um, and then here, this is from Loaf. This big tall boy cabinet is from Loaf and it's now full to the brim. Like in the top drawer, I have things for my guests. So whenever my guests come over, I've left an air wrap, a supersonic, and 
a Dyson Corral in here so that my guests have something to wash their hair with and I had an extra of each so I thought I'd leave those just in there. So and then just on top again I think this uh, this vase is from Cox and Cox and then I've got some beautiful flowers in there and then a Dior candle. Yeah like I said it's it's kept fairly minimalist and just very um, open and airy in here. Oh the uh, beautiful yellow this gorgeous mustard cashmere throw is also from Senrev. By the way, it is absolutely stunning. The quality is just sensational. And I think this is a really old bedspread actually from H&M, like ages ago. Oh, and then the cushions are from Olivia's. Right, I think that is this room. So this is our guest bedroom. Ooh, hello, come on. <laughs> Good boy. Anywhere I am, you wanna be. Okay, right, so if you're a guest in this room, this is then the bathroom that you get. So this is the bathroom complete. Okay, this is far easier. I brought in the husband to help me. <laughs> Let me start from the floor. So the floor is from Capietra. This is a beautiful marble style porcelain. So it's not real marble, therefore we don't have to be too careful with it, say if you drop tan on it. So it'll kind of wipe clean really, really nicely, but at the same time it has this full marble effect. And I got the biggest tiles that they do, so I think these are about a metre and a half by 70, so they're huge. So there's only like six of these and then a tiny sliver over, over there, but it just gives a bit more of a fuller effect, almost like one big slab, which I think looks perfect. Then the entire room, again, like the bedroom, it's painted in Faro and Ball with it. Again, it's just such a beautiful soft white, isn't it? It's got a warmth to it, even though it's white. And then all the walls are decorated in Orac decor panelling. Again, we have, we have these in our bedroom and I really love them and I thought I'd incorporate them into this room. So every single one of these upper panels has these beautiful corners and we put this enormous cornice in as well just to give a really grand feel to the edge of the ceiling. And then we've got a dado and then beneath that we have matching panels but with full um, corners rather than the fancy corners but that goes all over the room like even like if you come in like at our builder jade put them all over everywhere like every last piece no matter how small or big has a perfect um panel in it so they did just the most beautiful job behind the door we have a nice little moment here for my Dior robe. <laughs> I'm kind of calling this a Dior bathroom because I've put a few different things in here that are very much Dior related. So it's got a robe here for guests. This is a guest bathroom by the way so we wish this was in our bedroom but never mind. We will learn for next time. So yeah let me start here. So the whole suite. So the sink, the radiator, the bath, the taps, the shower, and the shower rail, then the cistern, the whole pipe work, the throne seat, even the toilet roll holder and the robe holder. Everything is from Catchpole and Rye. <laughs> that was a long winded way. Everything is from Catchpole and Rye. I found them online. In fact, I, th I think I found them on Pinterest. Completely fell in love with especially this. I think I saw a picture of this set up and it sung to me and I was like, this is what I want for my bathroom. So that's kind of what set me off on this journey. And I wanted everything in brass, polished brass. So far, the only thing about the polished brass, it looks stunning. The only thing is that it's gonna need constant upkeep and polishing and it starts to age. It gets this like, it gets almost like age spots on it from water. I kind of like it though. Well, I do, I think it adds to it. And we have that in the kitchen as well. It very much adds to the overall style of the brass, so it's not a big deal, but just so anyone knows in case they wanted to get polished brass. Um, let's start with the sink. This is this is an Arabiscato marble, so this we have to definitely be more careful with. Um, I just love the style of this with this curved edging to everything. The gorgeous little cutouts for the soap dishes, it's really kind of old school style. But instead I have bought um, some Dior hand wash and hand lotion, there's like a little tiny perfume there as well so that's kind of the soap situation and then just for the scenting of the room I've got Oud Nobile from Dr Vrange again same as in the bedroom so it's kind of the matching smell as you walk through but this is just beautiful again the polished brass taps 
they only need a little bit of a buffing up but it doesn't bother me again it kind of adds to the vibe and then i bought a beautiful dior towel i went all out here guys but i wanted the full beautiful guest experience <laughs> anthony yeah and a lot of you mentioned in the last video because i was talking about i might get a hand towel reel and i did and we haven't put it up because instead you were all were like that's a that's a towel reel so that's what we're making the towel reel from now on just to keep everything as busy then we've got the radiator beautiful radiator i've just left my dior towel out for now the the stool is actually one i got from h&m ages ago i'm not sure if they still do it it's like a mango wood stool and i've just decorated it up with a you know little dior candle some shower gels and some flowers just for a little bit of colour and then the bath really is the piece of resistance of the whole room I and mean, it's like the focal piece and it's the thing that people go like whoa when they see it so this and it's so great like you can sit in there I suppose it's the best bath I think I've, I've ever used in my life and it's in our house <laughs> which is amazing it's so good because it's so deep and compared to the one that's in our bedroom which I'm either got my knees out or <laughs> <laughs> half my body out. See, I love that though. I like bending my knees. Because you're teeny. Bath. And also, I'm shorter than you, so it doesn't bother me. But this is perfect for you. I love it. Yeah, you know, it's the right height. You can get a really deep bath. It's beautiful. Yes, yeah, so we have like the matching tap set up and the movable shower head as well. Again, I just need to give that a bit of a, a buff up with some brasso. But then above it, we have the shower, the big shower head. Again, I just love. The look of the Catchpole and Raya all just looks so like old school and Where'd you get the curtains from? These are actually H&M. I looked everywhere to find something that was just, you know, that looked like a cotton finish and didn't look plasticky and like quite cheap. So these are brilliant and they're the perfect length and width. How much were they? They were like £18 each and the gold hooks as well so they're honestly perfect i'm so thrilled with that find and this again was from catchpole and rye it just means that you've got a bath the bath is the main thing but if people do want to have a shower then it's all encapsulated inside of the bath i've not had a shower in here yet have you no no i might try one later and then the third piece is the toilet and it's got this incredibly beautiful cistern up here again in the brass but I went for the polished nickel pipe because we have polished nickel on the inside of here. So the bath is polished brass with polished nickel inside. So that's why I wanted to do the two and I'm so glad I did. I think it looks really cool, the, the con slightly contrasting colours. So this is polished nickel and it goes down into this light wood toilet seat. It's completely personal preference. A lot of people would probably either have gone for like a brass toilet or even just white. But I just, I think, I think it's just a really, thank you for that demo, thank you. I think it's just a really gorgeous, again, another focal piece for the room. I wanted it to be a really eye-catching, like, wow, you know, and this is different, you know, it's very different to other people's bathrooms. And it's very comfortable, like, super comfortable to sit on. And then we just got the accompanying, you know, little toilet roll holder from Catchpole and Rye and the hook so that's like all the features last but not least the lights all the lights are from pookie so these are the large s-sphere um waffle bulbs so we've got the large and then for by the side of the sink these are like the small or the, the medium size ones so they're a little bit more just a little smaller for that section and they've got a swan neck as well which i love and then also the, the little mini chandelier i was actually going to go for a big chandelier because this matches the one in my closet upstairs which you might have seen on all my reels or my tiktoks it's the exact same style but this one is a much smaller one that attaches straight to the ceiling and i'm really glad i did that now because i think that anything else would have really battled against this I'd say it's the balance, isn't it, really, when doing yeah. this sort of stuff? and I wanted to make this a focal piece rather than a big light. And then last but not least, just, just to adorn the window, just some perfumes for our guests to use from Dior. So I think that's everything. We also have underfloor heating in here. So glad I put that in. It is absolutely wonderful. Again, I think with any tiling, it's nice to have underfloor heating because it just really does help on a cold day. Is there anything I've missed? Don't think so. That's the door. Oh, bless him, you should let it be. Like, hello, where have you been? I've been so excited to show you that. Thanks, husband. Let me know what you think. I really, really hope that you like it. We're thrilled to bits. We're just 
so glad everyone seems to really like it and I just can't wait to start filming in there darling I can't wait to start filming in there and getting some lovely content so let me know what you think of this room and the bathroom um, and then as soon as the other rooms are done so we have had the other rooms done the other guest room and the ensuite we've had those repainted and repaneled but they're not quite done yet the artwork isn't up they're not quite finished so I don't want to fully show you those until it's done but I hope you liked these two rooms let me know what you think